boy, a song of self-loathing at number six on my fantasy playlist of May 6, 2002. Pink, don't let me get me. Oh, my goodness. You're talking about coming down on yourself. She calls out Britney Spears. I'm not as pretty as Britney Spears or something to that effect. Although I thought Pink was as pretty, certainly as talented a singer as, as, uh, as Britney Spears. Don't Let Me Get Me at number six from the album called Misunderstood, produced by Dallas Austin. This record was produced by Dallas Austin. Dallas Austin, who produced uh, TLC's debut album, recruited by L.A. Reed and Babyface to produce uh, TLC's debut album. And uh, he also was co-producer of TLC's, I believe it was their second album, came out in 1994, Crazy Sexy Cool, which Big, big album. A lot of producers. Jermaine Dupri, I believe, produced that album. Babyface produced a couple of cuts off that album. And uh, Dallas Austin produced Creep. Huge hit off that album, Crazy Sexy Cool, by uh, TLC. But uh, he also produced Secrets by Madonna. Anybody remember the, se the song Secrets? A uh, pretty big hit for Madonna back in the fall of 1994. But let's get back to Pink. Produced this hit record by Pink, Don't Let Me Get Me. Pink's real name, Alicia Moore. And I remember reading, before she got big, she was in a band, I think a rock band. Her hair was in dreads. She wore, her, her hair was very long, like a dreadlocks is what I'm trying to say. Dreadlocks, I think. Long hair. Then she got it cut short. And it was pink when she first started out, first became big when she was uh, working with L.A. Reid. But I found out that the reason why she was called pink it was picked up when she was a child because she got easily embarrassed, e easily flustered. And when she got flustered, her face, her skin turned into a bright pink color. Thus, pink. Don't let me get me at number six on my fancy playlist, May 6, 2002.